Obsidian, LogSec, Apple Notes, Bear, Evernote, Notion. I need a note-taking app just to keep track of all these note-taking apps. My first brain is in fact a monkey brain, so having a second brain that's digital and searchable has been a huge benefit for me. After trying loads of apps, my challenge was to use Apple Notes for 30 days. Well, 30 turned into 60, 60 days turned into 90, and then I dumped it. In this video, I'll take you through my thought process on why I'm using Apple Notes, why I've come back to Apple Notes, and how I have it set up and how it's been beneficial in my daily life. It's gotten a couple new features recently in iOS 17. Let's dive in. This all starts with my brief fling with Obsidian. Obsidian taught me to be less obsessed with the process of setting up some perfect second brain, and I came to realize that the tool doesn't matter. So if you've made it this far and you aren't sure what a second brain is, check out the book by Tiago Forte titled Building a Second Brain. To try to boil it down to one sentence, a second brain is a system that you use to try to offload information from your first brain into a set of digital tools that help you to be more productive. So I set up my Apple Notes using the Para method that's described in this book, and Para stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archives. And in Apple Notes, those are effectively folders where you store different notes. I struggled with this a little bit and found it confusing on finding the line between projects and areas and resources and where things should live initially. I like to follow the rule of thumb, projects have a start and an end date, whereas areas are ongoing items in your life. For example, I use this YouTube channel, it is in an area, and I run this out of my second brain. A project, for example, is something like a course. If I'm taking an online course, I throw a folder together in my Apple Notes under the project section because I will start the course and I will have an end to the course and I want to keep everything related to that course in one folder. Now that we've covered setup, let's talk about why Apple Notes is the best fit for me. Apple Notes and compatibility are synonymous to me. It's so good at holding so many different types of information and it's so simple that you never really question, how do I get this information into Apple Notes? Copy and paste, drag and drop, use Apple shortcuts, use Siri. Creating a note via voice to text while driving on CarPlay with Siri has been one of the best uses for Apple Notes for me. I often listen to podcasts or audiobooks while I'm driving to and from work, and inspiration can strike at any moment, and oftentimes if I don't get it into notes right away, the thought will be gone, never to be found again. So there is no real barrier to getting information into Apple Notes, and its rich text format shows you images of web pages, and allows you to do things like edit PDFs, scan documents. That was the one downside to Obsidian for me was attachment management. It was just a little bit clunky, and you can kind of describe Obsidian as a little bit clunky overall, or maybe a little bit quirky. It has everything you need, and you can customize it to no end with various plugins and different integrations, but I found that I spent more time messing around with how I had Obsidian set up than I did actually doing work and getting things done, which is the whole point of Second Brain and holding information. I don't just want to store information for the sake of collecting things. I want to use the information that I collect to do something cool. Make a YouTube video, think about a creative side project, revisit education, learn something new. Obsidian is also missing some key features that make using the Apple Pencil easy. In a few videos back, I revisited using the iPad Air 4 in 2023, and I still do. It's my trusty sidekick. And the Apple Pencil is a great way to get information into your Notes app. And of course, it works flawlessly with Apple Notes as they were designed together. The most important thing here for me is that handwritten text becomes searchable in Apple Notes in a free app that comes with your Apple devices. There are various applications out there that let you use the Apple Pencil now, different journaling applications, plenty of notes applications. 
but none as far as I'm aware of that integrate as well with search functions as Apple Notes. It even lets you take a handwritten passage and copy and paste it as type text if you need that for some other reason. If you prefer to handwrite notes on paper, you can even scan those documents into Apple Notes and the same thing is true. Your handwritten text becomes searchable in Apple Notes, you can copy and paste, you can annotate with the Apple Pencil directly on the document. There's so many great uses for the Apple Pencil, such a simple little accessory, but it's a lot of fun to use and I don't pick it up often enough. I've already kind of covered search and its benefits. It's pretty good. Notes in a folder style structure like Apple Notes aren't super discoverable. So it's unlikely that you're going to be scrolling through and you're going to find something inspirational or that you were working on that spawns an idea. But if you have the inkling of an idea, search and tags can help you easily find that information. And I find it's quite accurate with the handwritten text as well. But there's always a but. It's not all sunshine and rainbows with Apple Notes. It is a horrendously locked down application. Not even the mighty Apple is infallible. Data breaches happen, data loss happens. There is a potential that you could lose files and not be able to recover them if you're storing them in the iCloud only. It's also extremely difficult to export files from Apple Notes. If you wanted to move your Apple Notes archive to something like Obsidian, there are some roundabout shortcuts that work okay, but you're using third-party developed applications to move things between apps that weren't designed to talk to each other. Basically, think about it this way. If you create a note in Apple Notes, it's going to live in Apple Notes forever. And if you want to switch note-taking apps, you're better off leaving all your information in Apple Notes from the past and starting fresh with whatever application you're going to use. And that's one big upside to Obsidian. You own all the files, you know where they are, they're stored where you want them to be stored, and you control the access to them. Now, the second biggest thing that was missing from Apple Notes was the ability to link things together. And with the dawn of iOS 17, we get links, we get backlinks, the ability to do block quotes. So there's some really great things coming to Apple Notes and they do a good job of keeping this mostly up to date. Sure, you don't get a beautiful graph view like Obsidian and there's no visualization for people who learn that way, but I've tried the linking, it works well enough. Finally, if you want to follow Tiago's progressive summarization technique, which I actually think is great to boil the information down from the lowest level all the way up to an executive summary, it's just a little bit more difficult in Apple Notes than it really needs to be. And mainly the missing link here is text formatting. So you can do things like headings and subheadings, bold, italic, underline. Those are easy. There's keyboard shortcuts that exist for them. But if you want to highlight text, you have to resort to highlighting the passage and changing the font color, which is like five steps to just highlight something yellow that you should just be able to take the Apple Pencil and highlight over or select the passage and highlight like you can in any other word processing app. So all this to say, Apple Notes is and will be my note-taking app of choice now and into the future. I've come to overlook the issue of data ownership and find that the speed and sync, attachment handling, and overall ease of use of Apple Notes makes it worthwhile for me to keep using. So let me know in the comments down below what Notes app are you using? Do you have a second brain? Do you want to set up a second brain? I hope sharing my thought process on why I use Apple Notes was helpful to you to make a decision. Thanks for watching. See ya.